Let's see how we can run different kind of files and files using command line. So first go to the root of your project. I just have a project here in desktop. Now you can have your project anywhere you want. It will work the same. Now hold shift and right click and click on open parts window here or open command prompt here, whatever your system is showing. Now you need to be sure that you are inside the Python directory. So I am inside my root directory here. If you are not inside your root directory, you will be able to run Python files, but you'll have to add whole path. So as you can see here, I am using three files. So all three are different. The first, let's try to run this main.py. That is the easiest one. So you just type Python and main.py. And as you can see, hello world is printed. Now, if you are not able to run like this, and if you see something like Python is not found or something, that means that Python is not installed in your system or Python is not added to path variable. To see how you can install Python or add Python to path, check the links in the description. Now, second file is named user input.py. That is because it takes user input. So let's try to run this. Now hit enter. And as you can see, it will ask you for your name. If I enter Sam, it'll say, hello, Sam. Welcome to the world of Python. Now, if you want to check the code, is this so I'm taking an input and then I'm just printing that with hello username welcome to the world of Python now this is the most interesting file that is user args now we, we, we were running Python like this earlier now we cannot run Python like this because we need to provide extra arguments so let's see let me try to run this right user args so this appeared because I had hit tab and this auto completed it will work the same but if i hit enter it will say usage python script name argument one argument two so we need to pass two arguments let's first pass name and then let's pass our let's say age so your name is sam you are 29 years old this is printed now in your scripts, you can also make it so that uh, if the user has not entered the correct number of arguments, you can show this error. So that is what I'm doing here. Here first I'm checking if the arguments passed while running the command is not equal to three. That is script name, argument one, argument two. So these are the three arguments passed here. It will exit before exiting, it will print this message. All right, so when I pass this, now these three are the arguments here. If the number of arguments passed is not equal to three, this will be printed, else we will do this. So this is how you can run Python files from terminal or from command prompt. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.